Welcome back, Woodlovers. It's Tommy Stonewoods. Today, it is Topwood Tuesday. We are going to be looking at some very nice Picea Rubens. Red spruce, commonly known as Adirondack spruce, um, native to uh, the northeast of North America, from kind of Quebec, 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 <laughs> Quebec, all the way down through the Adirondack Mountains, um, down the Appalachian Trail, and um, as far down as Tennessee, apparently, because the, um, the red spruce that I have here was very generously and graciously sent to me by the Hampton Brothers, Matt and Nate, and they are red spruce hunters. Um, they specialize in uh, finding the really good kind of pre Martin style red spruce, which you don't really see very often anymore. Uh, if you go, if you Google Hampton Brothers guitars, um, you'll see lots of YouTube videos of them, like on the top of the mountain, like in amongst rough country, cutting down trees and splitting them, chopping them up right in situ, dragging them out. It's, it's really impressive and they, they get some really beautiful stuff. So red spruce um, was kind of the, the kind of the golden era Martin go-to topwood up until kind of 1946 when they switched to Sitka, when the kind of the good, readily available, easily accessible red spruce started to run out, they switched to Sitka. Um, and, uh, but this stuff that I got from the Hampton Brothers is, is kind of like that, that, that old school Martin uh, red spruce. It's really pretty special. So you can see this is one of their master grade tops. The grain is very, very tight. It's even really uniform and straight. And uh, by comparison, this was a, a, a master grade top that I got from a different seller um, last year. And beautiful wood makes a great sounding guitar, but just look at the difference in the annual growth rings there. Hopefully you can pick that up. This one, really nice and tight. This one, the grain is much wider. Still makes a great sounding guitar, but aesthetically, um, this is uh, much cleaner. The thing I like about red spruce is it's got like a, almost like a metallic sound, a metallic tone. that really gives you a little bit of something else in a finished guitar. A really good example of this is a guitar I built um, end of last, in the summer, last summer, Sophia, which was a 12 fret model M with a master grade Adirondack spruce top. It had so much sparkle to it. Should we give some magic spray? Magic spray? I'm tongue tied today. It's getting to the end of the day. I'm, I'm shooting this quite late today. Yeah, this is nice. Really lovely, pure, creamy white color. Just gorgeous. So Adirondack is, is typically known for um, being a powerhouse, having lots and lots of headroom. It can be driven really uh, quite aggressively without distorting. Good for bluegrass, good for flat picking. Um, so yeah, there you go, red spruce. Yesterday we had tamarind. Um, there were some interesting comments in the, uh, the comment section, obviously. Uh, <laughs> Karen Singh informs me that no matter how uh, thin I take the tamarind, um, it won't look or feel or sound like rosewood. So that's good to know. What yesterday's episode did um, uh, give me the idea for is that we should, uh, let's see how adventurous and creative we can be with our descriptions of what it is you're hearing and what you think the final guitar will sound like because we're getting some good stuff. Uh, it's very entertaining. And uh, maybe, maybe I will read out some of your thoughts and comments about this. So, Top of Tuesday, Pisces Rubens, Red Spruce. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.